Let's go. Let's go. All right. Get that beautiful lie from Everything Fantasy going. Okay. Nice. Whoosh, you have been blessed with Nintendo. Can you guys hear me? What's up, y'all? How's it going? Your name's Kevin Go, as y'all probably know. Oh, shit. Shut up, Kevin. We don't want Kevinception in here. All right. That's good. All right. Five more minutes until our lives change, don't you know? Something like that. Something like that. How's it going, y'all? Man, how's you guys? Is like, what day is it today? It's, it's, it is hump day, actually. Yeah, like, this is the perfect way to get over that hump. But, like, yeah. Nintendo Directs, they're always fun. Like, they're kind of infrequent nowadays. But I would, like, just... They're gonna see a lot of things. Just, if you guys have any predictions, put them in now. I have mine. I'm gonna talk about them. Because, yeah, it's five minutes. We're gonna... Just... The hype is for real. I always get so fucking overly happy and just, like, just super... Just so giddy during these. Because you can't just... Man, I'm, I, I was always a Nintendo Sony kid. Primarily Nintendo. Just uh, there's just something about Nintendo just makes you go, yay, Nintendo! Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, Josh. Welcome, Haru. Everyone, what's up, y'all? All right. Yeah. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. We're gonna get probably gonna for sure get Joker gameplay. Hopefully his stage. I really want the casino and or size palace. That aesthetic would look amazing. Also the music. Hopefully we get lyric songs. We don't just get two songs. We just get like fucking, what is it? We just get Okumra's palace and mementos. Yeah, fuck that. Um, we might get, you know, wishful thinking. We might get the third DLC character. Just like a little preview. That'd be cool. Um, we're, I think they said for sure we're gonna get more info on like, what is it? Fire Emblem. Three heroes, yeah, right? Okay, we'll see. Jokers and Smash, say what? Yeah, like hopefully this will again, yeah, for sure get the get uh, get us over the uh, the hump day. But I'm also thinking, hopefully, Animal Crossing for Switch. Please show us more. Watch a beat amiibo party. I have ten amiibo festivals in my uh, in my closet for a reason. You know, actually, like that. Be <laughs> well, I'm actually making a throne out of those. What I was actually like thinking though is like. Because no one wants those Animal Crossing amiibos. Those are like the just like the the rejects of amiibo. But watch, the Animal Crossing game comes out, and all those amiibos are gonna skyrocket in price, probably or probably not. We'll see. We all need the Animal Crossing in our lives. I know. We got three minutes left, y'all. Okay. Other than Animal Crossing, we have probably Bayonetta three. And since they said they can Metro Prime four, they're like redoing it from scratch. What I'm thinking, they might do. What I want is Metro Prime trilogy port it over to Switch. They don't even need to do motion controls, because obviously the first two are from GameCube, they could try to fajiggle away. I mean, no, they can already do motion controls. The uh, the Joy-Cons have motion controls. I always forget about that. But yeah, that'd be cool if they could do that. What else is there? Um... Oh, yeah, like, since Joker is coming to Smash, Persona 5 Switch, will the dream be real? We'll see. Oh, man. Joker's in Smash? Dang it, Rampa Switch ever? There was like a rumor slash leak that like Danganronpa Trilogy, because they're coming out with a trilogy of all three games. It's coming to PS4, but someone like leaked that it was going to come to Switch. Might have been like a, a fake out or something. We'll see. We'll see for that. You definitely want Life Will Change. I want Whims of Fate, Life Will Change, Rivers in the Desert. Just a lot of really good tracks. Just Whims of Fate is the for sure one I really, really want. News on Pokemon 2019? Josh, I think that's probably gonna happen uh, later on, because I know that, uh, doesn't Pokemon usually have its own dedicated, like, direct slash shows? I know, like, Sun and Moon was like that, so it's probably gonna be like that, too. Two minutes, y'all. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know, right? You just scream so loudly? That's gonna be me in, like, uh, two minutes. Probably in, uh, 15 minutes, so soon, because uh, I'm going to be predicting the most hype will occur ten minutes into the video. We'll see if you can keep watching this later. Welcome, Rory. What's up? What's up? Joker and Smash and your lesbians for Persona 5 outfits? This week is good so far. Right on, right on. What do you guys think uh, Joker's colors are gonna be? I'm thinking, well, obviously we have like eight Phantom Thieves, so that could work. I would really want them to do, what is it? It would be amazing if they could do, well, an Arsene recolor? It would just be like a reverse Joker, right? That'd be interesting. Velvet Room employee colors would be cool. Because I'm not sure if they want to keep Crow's colors, considering it's Crow, you know? They do slide teaser trailers in normal directs. Right on, right on, yeah. Oh shit, it's a reun reunion. Everyone is here, like in Smash. Rory's here, Josh is here, Kevin might be here. Damn, y'all. Has a lot of Animal Crossing viewers. Well, oh shit, I didn't even see it. Zach, what's up, dude? The hype is real, guys. We only got one fucking minute left. Oh my Something like that. Oh shit, all right. How you guys liking? Shoutouts to Beautiful Lie Remix by Everything Fantasy. Incredibly underrated channel for music. Go check them out. Give them all a like and uh, all that shit. Your leg is dead? That's what we will all be in like, uh, one, two, three, something. It's five o'clock. Shit. Okay, we're almost going. We're almost going, y'all. 
Lachlan Starkey, hello, welcome to the stream. Ready for the hype? The hype, we're gonna bring, we're bringing the hype, y'all. We're almost there. We're almost here! I really wish, because I think the, his, whatchamacallit, his Final Smash is for sure gonna be all out attack. I want them to have all the party members be able to show up, not just the first three, but we'll see for that. We shall see for that indeed. All right, beautiful eyes over. Come on, Nintendo, don't keep us waiting. Come on, Nintendo. We're all silent. Come on, dude, you can do it. You can do it. We're almost there. Yeah, we're going! Let's go! Let's go! We're going, y'all, we're going! Hey, Jamie, hey, guys, let's go! Oh, let's go! All right, let's bring the hype down. We can't be this hype yet. Well, we'll see. Oh, oh Mario Maker 2! Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go, finally. All right, we're all dead, guys, see ya. We're making a Mario Maker 2, or it's one, but I think it's Mario Maker 2. This is the, like the one game on Wii that's like, why didn't they bring this over yet? Because they're making a sequel, there we go. There we fucking go, alright, yeah, we need this. Honestly, the Switch is perfect for this. Because you can take it on the go and everything, and now the audio- and now the fucking quality's going to shit. Fuck, God. it's 2019, damn it, Nintendo! There we go, okay. Super Mario Maker 2! Indeed. So what's new though? Okay, those are obviously new, but like, okay. Just, is it still just the same ones? Just like all the same styles, no like, new ones? Hmm. Just putting a lot more just like, creativity and stuff into it, alright. Bullet bills everywhere. Hey, it's the guys in Smash, look at that. Oh shit, they got the bell! Holy crap! That's new! Holy- So, that's never been in a 2D game, that's only been in 3D World, that's cool they're bringing in. Oh, Nintendo makes it so happy. Just makes me so happy, guys. I don't know about you. This looks. This looks good. I never really played around with Mario Maker One. Hey, Luigi's here. I never really played around with Mario Maker One. June, pretty good. Um, but like, yeah, just should be a fun fucking time. Hi, everyone. Is this Masahiro Sakurai's Echo Fighter, guys? Like in the menu system, it's looking good, guys. Welcome, Matt. Welcome, Eleniko. Nintendo! Yay! The brand new sequel to Super Mario Maker. Wow, this guy's English is on point. We're of course calling Super Mario Maker. It looks fucking nice. Yeah, it's the first announcement. I think that was a part of a leak. That's the only like there will be I don't remember what was on the leak, but just if things are going as good as they as we think they are. Let's see. So please stay tuned. All right. Next. All right. Let's yes. cover today's Nintendo Switch. Get on with it. No, okay. We just let's see what's up. Let's go. For the first time in Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ultimate Alliance 3. Marvel Ultimate Alliance series. They had okay, they never could make this until Nintendo like Nintendo did the same thing as Bayonetta. They they funded it themselves. Now we're getting a third one of this. This series has been dormant for like almost a decade now. Guardians of the Galaxy. Defenders. X-Men and more. Nice. Stop Thanos and the Black Hey, it's the guy who it's, it's the guy who killed everyone. Nice. Sounds fun. Ah, oh, you need four switches though. Ah. And get closer to the action with a dynamic zoomed in heroic. I thought those were all like just Deadpool ninjas for a second. Okay. And we got Captain Marvel. Did her movie come out yet? I don't think so. Protector Captain Marvel. Wield her power against those that would do harm to the universe. Well, can you play as Shaggy? Get the fuck out of here. You can use on the fly. In Carol Danvers' case, literally. In addition to basic attacks and skills, each hero has an alliance extreme attack. So it's like Dynasty Warriors, but with Marvel characters. Pretty okay. That's that's cool. Like Zoinks, man. Yeah, right. Where's my death battle at? Fucking Sentinels or something. Yep. Your most powerful attacks can even be combined into. This is exclusive to Switch. Don't forget, guys. Yeah, the the company. Ooh. Oh, is it? No. Do you guys know this old GameCube game called like Cubivore, where you're like you're a cube and you eat other cubes and it's really violent, kind of? I don't know this one. I guess this is a indie game. Tons of content, including brand new puzzles and new features. We fit something else in too. Yeah. A girl. Ooh, ooh, yo, boy, box sex, Wappy. To restore peace on the box planet, you must work as a team. Solve puzzles and beat those stages. Hey, girl box, I'm a dude story, box. You want to make a rectangle? Separate adventure starring Cutie, the tall one. How cute! Oh, the tall one. The love interest arrives. In yeah, all, something like that. There are 270 stages to beat. That's the highest in the series to date. Seems like a fun, okay, puzzle game. Boxes to think outside the box and lead our heroes to the goal. 
Box boy and box girl. I, I guess I ship it. All right. Seems like uh, if Tetris pieces could were heroes, I guess. Okay. Ultimate, Ultimate spring update. update. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's new? Come on, Joker. Come on, dude. Where are you at? Version three already. All right. Hey, Pastel. What's up, guys? We're getting hype a little bit. Let's go. Let's go. You'll just have to wait to find out. So fucking no more to Virgin. Yo! Oh shit, there he is! There he is! There he is! Challenger Pack 1! Let's go! Finally come before the end I'll reveal your truth, something or other! This year, He's looking clean! Let's go! And don't yeah, let's all smash New Joker. Smash also, yeah, Snake and Simon. Don't forget your amiibos, guys. The the wave two, uh, King K Rolling Ice Climbers comes out in like two days, y'all, after Valentine's. No Joker yet? Okay, we didn't Okay, they just gave us a tiny little preview. Alright. He's so beautiful. He's got back. We still didn't get to see a stage though, if he even has a stage. They're bringing Treasure Tracker again? Yeah. Alright, Toad. All courses will support two player co op. That's cool. Toad won't be so nervous with someone at his side. We're Two both equally useless, so extra set of hands goes we're almost semi-cop now. Eh? This free update, will free be update. that's cool. Today. And some paid downloadable content Pay. is coming. Oh boy, we're yep. adding in 18 new challenges that'll see you traveling to five new courses. Okay. From sunken ships to a I played a little bit of this game. It's it's a fun little distraction, you know. In existing courses. It's like, okay, what games are there? On the Wii U, that still weren't keeping a Wii now, U, right, guys? They already just ported Mario Maker, and now this All game's just like, what else is there? Pikmin player. 3, I guess, but watch, now, that's gonna be later in the direct, probably. Special episode will be available for purchase as soon as, well, later today. Later today, all right. Early access to one of the courses. The rest of the content will launch March 14th, on March 14th. okay. Oh, uh, isn't that Denzel you Crocker Day? Look out for a digital bundle available on Nintendo eShop later Shouts today. to a Denzel Crocker, my favorite guy who has an ear on his neck. You access to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker special episode once it's available. Mm -hmm. But who's the better ship, Toad and Toadette? Steal yourself. Hey, look at this, Toad and Toadette are the box people. New Gothic castle. I didn't know this Side still isn't out yet. <laughs> or it already came out and they're finally going to bring it to Switch because Switch is Port City. So, the young lady Miriam, host of the Alchemist's Curse. It's like Castlevania, except the with that with less Charlotte Jonathan, Charlotte Jonathan. With the yeah, if anyone hasn't ever given like a Castlevania a try, well Konami won't make anymore, but this is made by like the Castlevania director. It's a lot better than Mighty Number no. Nine. A lot of things are better than Mighty Number no. Nine in terms of like spiritual successors. But yeah, no, if you like Metroid and just want to try out something similar, Castlevania's pretty legit. And just as a good series in general. If you like Simon and Richter. Fuck you, but yeah, no, they're not. It's there. It's a good series. Give you Xenoblade one on the Switch. You know, I think they are, they are doing 3DS ports. They have done 3DS ports, so they could. They, should, they, they just turned her into Shrek. All right. Don't be afraid to show them your dark side. Dark side. Ooh. So edgy. Hmm. They call it R O T N the same way that's you know, S O T N. Fancy. Dragon's Quest, huh? Dragon Quest Builders, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I played the first ones, alright. The Dragon Quest main character looks like Goku, so, uh, maybe we can get Goku in Smash. Slimes, alright. People are thinking the Dragon Quest, Quest dude's gonna be in, uh, the next Smash DLC newcomer. Maybe. Uh oh, too lewd now. Jump Force for Switch? You know? If they're bringing fucking Mortal Kombat 11 to Switch, I see why not, especially considering, you know, Japanese and all. The furry field? Uh-oh. The game looks cute. It's very chibi. Imagine if Dragon Ball Z was like this. Because it is the same art style. Alright, if you like building in Minecraft but with more anime, there you go. But first, a word from Mr. Koizumi. Koizumi? Mahiro? Well, Alright. Next. What do you have to say, Masahiro Sakurai's Echo Fighter? A new announcement for that Slime for Smash? RPG Slime or uh, Ezra, Ezra's Heart, whatever his name is. How do they make that sound? What is this? Oh, RPGs, yep, Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem? Dragon Quest, no, that's right. That's that the two the different art styles here, okay. Is charging onto okay, Nintendo I'm waiting for the damn Fire Emblem. Force. I just see During anime swordsmen as like, what else could it be? Style and perfectly balanced battles with the most impressive scope that and forehead is almost as big as Haruo Kumara's. 
Where there is light, darkness follows. For no one does this ring truer than the luminary. The boy that prophecy says will succeed the last The boss baby is the chosen the one? All right. From a terrible land. In an odd twist of fate, the boy's royal birthright is snatched from him. He wears the baby as his head, the headless horseman. All right, dude. Discovers his true heritage and the powers that make him the luminary. When he goes to the king of the largest kingdom for guidance, he is dubbed Darkspawn. So begins the perilous journey of a hundred. I don't think I've seen any gameplay yet, but honestly, this is just kind of making me just want to see the new Fire Emblem. I've never really been the biggest fan of Dragon Quest. I think it's mostly just the art style. I don't know why. Haru has best forehead. It's true. New stage. Okay, here you go. Roam free of random encounters. Kinda open worldish. All right. Choose your strategy wisely in turn-based battles. Oh God, slimes! No, that's they they made a chunk of slime. And when to switch your party members' orders? As you do, you'll earn skill points, which can be. That looks like the one in Smash. Members' attacks. Subtle hint. Maybe get your conspiracy theory uh, theories going, y'all. You can also collect materials so you can forge weapons, armor. Ha it's better to be the hammer than the nail. Looking for an item. Hammer a nail. Hammer a nail. Side quests, or try your hand at the that guy looked like he was into some weird shit. Is full of I know my games. I've played Sony the Hedgehog. The player has the power to choose on the fly between the land's gorgeous HD vistas and the 2D Ooh, fancy. glory of all. Oh, that's this. That's this pretty fancy. This yeah, like they, they're like. The there's a lot of Dragon Quest games. There's like 20. The battle. series has been going on a long time in Japan. You can change and like, yeah, it's super popular in Japan, but like, just obviously, and you can also cult, like, uh, what you call it, uh, culture Japanese clash Sony. when you bring it over to here it doesn't really correlate as well. Like the only like series I can really think of that, like oh, like mostly Nintendo stuff. Like the only like Pokemon super popular in both regions, but Yokai Watch tried to do the same thing. It's super popular in Japan, but not a, not that much in America. Somehow Pokemon was able to stand the test of time. He has a Fez. Fezes are interesting. Strike a JoJo pose, all right. First time players and veterans should also look forward Are we all the exalt? Okay. Each sees one of the main cast members stepping into the spot. Looks like they're all Shedding summoning those uh their uh, ba <laughs> their bathrobe Camilla and all they get is all they get is uh just Frederick, you. Dragon Quest 11 Frederick's fine, but no Bathro Camilla. Bathro Frederick, well, I mean. Launching exclusively on yeah, did that not look like that damn thing from Fire Emblem Heroes, y'all? Alright. What's next? While we just announced the addition of these new stories. You like bunny suits? Well, yeah. New information to share in the future. Mm hmm. Please look forward to learning more. Yes, man who can speak perfectly fluent English. Nintendo Switch headlines. What's next? Give me something good. Give me something nice. Give me something stellar. A Disney Zoom Zoom Dis game what like the fuck is this? <laughs> uh, this is not what I was expecting. Toys it's better than Epic Mickey. Storm. Is this Cuckoo cool Land? Ready for an after hours party at the what the fuck? Disney Zoom Disney Zoom Zoom? Guys, I'll Zoom Zoom your Zoom Zoom. Uh, are we curling? We are curling. We went from Mario and Sonic and Olympic Games players. to this. All right. You can play online as well with players from around Something the world. tells me I'm not the intended audience for this game. Watch this be 60 bucks. Oh god. And you can't mention Disney Tsum Tsum without talking. Shoutouts to Tsum Tsumugi Shirogane. Tsum Tsum to clear them and set a high hey Matt, would you Tsum Tsum Tsumugi Tsum Tsum? The game also features a two-player mode for local and online. You have to hold it up like that. Okay. So wait, are these things called Tsum Tsum? will steal our hearts in 2019. These things are called Tsum Tsum? Apparently I'm old and out of touch. Okay, y'all, y'all with your sum sums and your your fucking competitive circumcision. I don't know. What is this? Oh shit! Star Fox is back. Starlink. Yeah, this game already came out and now they're updating with uh, Pigma, Leon, and etc. Slippy have no choice but to hunt them down. Like the hunt them down. Fucking just fucking destroy them. Ugh. In the spring update of Starlink Battle for Atlas. Every member of the Star Fox team has their own special. But yeah, I know really. They're called Sum Sums. I know my, my little sister has Sum Sums, I guess. I thought they were just called plush toys. I don't fucking know. Fox's missions from the base game. 
It's time for a game of uh, if only Star Fox control, Zero was like, you know, to play fair. good. Fuck. Look to news on the rest of the like this doesn't look content, that bad. Such as starship races and faction missions. It's like literally the only the Star Fox, Fox game they can ever get right is 64 for some fucking reason. I don't know why. That game is like 20 years old. A heartfelt fantasy adventure crops up, up once, once more. Again. Not Harvest Moon or another no, not Harvest Moon. Where's my new Harvest Moon, right? Against monsters. No, wait. There was a new Harvest Moon that came out already. Never mind. Interact with townsfolk daily. Watch out, guys. The weebs are coming. The weeboo games are coming. Cook some fish. Cook up a storm. Holy shit! This game has everything. Monsters. And they sh shit everywhere. I don't know. Will keep you coming back for more in yeah, Rory, that wasn't even a Star Fox game. That was some other game called. That was some other series that Star Fox just makes a cameo in. So. Townsfolk, and before long, you may become more than just friends. I love you, huh? See what I really love you. you. Just you kidding, Wathi. Shout out to everyone's Valentine's Day, Wathi. What a fucking tease, this asshole kid. I assume he's a kid. He might be actually be like 37. You never know with anime the fucking kids. Later this year. Oh, this is Rune Factory? Okay. There's like, there's Rune Factory, yeah. Harvest Moon. There's another one. There's a bunch of them on 3DS. I don't remember. I never played this series. Confirm 5? Is in development. Okay. To more info in the future. So that was a port of 4 coming to Switch. And now they're bringing 5 out? Soon, okay. A time will come to slay hey Flam, what's up man? Rescue lost souls, rescue lost souls, souls from this. Lost in thoughts all alone. In this action RPG from the developers of Oninaki. Is this a new franchise? Sphere. Step into a realm built upon the tenets of reincarnation. Looks nice and moody already. I bet it's just an octopath riff off of probably someone. Ooh, the cell shading's nice. Cell shading is is really good. Everyone, more more games need cell shading. It's timeless. Ko, shouts to Ko. He's beautiful. So you can summon your personas. Each soul's powers are different, so you must choose the right soul for the situation at hand. Kind of reminds me of this old game called uh, Phantom Brave. Anyone, any you guys know it from PS2? It's made by the Disguise and people. You, you use ghosts to fight Those people and stuff. Grief are lost, and the lost don't reincarnate. The He's just so casually nonchalant, just like, yeah, yeah, you're shooting a laser beam at me. Yeah, I do this all the time. Meh. So Oninaki. All right, that's a Square Enix game for you guys. Hey, it's Yoshi. Finally, this Yoshi game is coming out. You know what that means? Yoshi's crafted world. Is it a digestive system or is it a reproductive system? Yoshi has. Of these crafty courses on display. Them. Look at the moles. Oh shit! Foreground and background shit. Holy shit! It's a giant fish. Race solar car. This game has everything. I've never been the biggest fan of Yoshi games. They kind of feel like, like this is just me personally. I've, the main one I played was Yoshi's Story, where he just got high off a of fruit. But uh, yeah, like they're okay. They're kind of just there for me compared to, of course, like you see Yoshi and then you see Mario, Link, and like Metroid over in the other corners. Like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with the cool kids. Thank you. Something like that. Sad to say. There are more than 180 of these costumes. You can make him a can of tuna. Can be tricky to get your hands on. Oh boy, look, Nintendo Labo. Yeah, that was a fucking thing. Later today, we'll release a demo. Oh, there's a demo. All right, cool. Like they're fun. Like they're solid games. It's just they can get a little just the world game boring. Like, they're chill, but just they can get boring for me. New Island is also really, really stupid easy. First, so that's another thing. Another update from Mr. Koizumi. We keep going back to How's Mr. Koizumi. So Hello. Next, we need to we stop meeting like this, sir. Latest installment in one of our long-running series. Mm -hmm. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Yo, Fire Emblem fuckers. There you go. Let's go. All right. Can't wait for my next. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. All right. More moths and stuff. Let's go. What's up? Yep. It's anime. brought you here hello nice lady three heroes said whatchamacallit could that be tiki maybe or it's just it's another uh what are they called again the dragon lady Fogland, said to be protected by a revered goddess has existed since time immemorial mm -hmm. three ruling powers now control the land all right in the south lies a region long held by a more and then the rest of the direct is just fire on them good night everybody no oh, okay that looks like the lannisters I'm hoping this story is actually a lot more like 
quote unquote mature, kind of like Game of It kind of reminds me of Game of Thrones so far, just from this map and like the different sigils and stuff. Speaking of which, that's coming in like two fucking two months, goddamn. Do 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 wieners, flumpy wieners. Yeah, that could be like the the cutscene with the avatar. And these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. Families to the north, to in the, the south, to the east, and to the east. You, you could be a boy pff, or a cute you girl. What are you going to do? Watch, we see that girl, and already the hentai artists are like, Quick, draw her! Draw her! we got to be the first one to do it. An unknown power hidden within. You'll travel to Garrick Mock Monastery. Mm -hmm. Where you'll receive an offer to teach at the officer's academy. It's looking nice so far. Around that same time, you alone begin to see a mysterious girl named Sothis, who appears Sothis. within your mind. Sothis. Green hair. Uh, it's kind of like Sothe from Fire Emblem. Hmm. Well, obviously Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, Path of Radiance, I mean. At the center of three large territories. Shit, guys, do you want to choose <laughs> blue, red, and yellow? Uh-oh, do you want to choose Team Mystic well fucking Valor again? Not only does the church serve to maintain order, we got discount Florida, Palatina. All right, its monastery also houses the officers' academy. Those who train there will go on to shoulder the future of Fodlan. Mm -hmm. The officers' academy is composed everyone's hair is of so colorful. Three houses. The Black Eagles is for students from that's the right, Adelstein our first uh, including female House lord, really, huh? Future emperor Edelgard. Edelgard, yeah. The Blue Lions, Dimitri. Welcome Dimitri to which team are we choosing, y'all? Red, blue, or Mystic? This house is for students from his kingdom. From what I heard, these the guys also don't. All three of these guys the don't really use swords. They all use different Their weapons, which would be good because if one of these guys gets into Smash, we won't have another fucking sword character. God damn it! The Golden Deer. He's a Baratheon. Yeah, a man. You will lead Ooh, fancy. Of one of these houses and instruct them. In addition to the house leaders, these graphics and this setting, it actually reminds me, guys, of the Attack on Titan game from, like, on PS4. Edelgard seems popular. Why? Because she has tits? What else do you need? True, actually. And a giant forehead? Alright. Train and battle. Why is everyone so colorful? Sometimes with the Knights of Seros themselves and gain real battle experience, including... Whoa, that guy's got some crazy eyes. To suppressing He's channeling some King K. Roll right there. These may be class assignments, but the stakes in each battle are very real. Mm -hmm. Whether your students live or die will depend. The battles are a lot more dynamic. I see that. Yeah. Strategize as the battle progresses to claim victory. The only issue that could eventually... Whoa, she's got a fucking tight skirt. <laughs> the only thing I can like potentially see, uh, like, kind of taking you out of the experience is. Because you have those big battle scenes, what if like you're battling the one guy and then everyone else is just like standing around, right? I, like I saw them like moving around, but like that'd be just, I hate that in games. Using assets from warriors, it does. I mean, yeah, true, makes sense. Which I can see them them probably doing something with warriors, where it's like, okay, if you own warriors, a save file, you can probably get you get to play as like Crom naked or something. Through combat experience and study, you can also stock up on those farm amiibo. We're back into amiibos, guys. Uh oh, here we go. Your students can also interact with each other at the academy, and by doing so, their bonds will strengthen. Gambit and boost, they'll be yep. able to better support each other on the battlefield. Just ride into this giant lizard, alright. Beep beep! Okay. What's this? Dark World? Leroy Jenkins? Okay. Silly, silly, ugly man! You can't be fire. You can't win. This is Fire Emblem. Only the only the beautiful people can win. It's funny because it's actually kind of true. Forward, now. Forward, go. She actually reminds me of Daenerys. Shit. Where's my Game of Thrones game? That's actually good. Your very own journey. This discount Palutena, guys. What's up with that? Fire Emblem Three Houses. Three heroes. On July twenty. I don't think IGN or GameStop, whoever it was, are ever gonna live that down. But anyway, okay, that's cool. July, pretty good. So like, okay, Mario was coming in June, and this one's coming in July, right? They're like coming out with a game every single month. It's pretty good. Would release this spring, but more development time will be. Yeah, babies later, maybe. Are they going to be OP so again? Are they going to do the girls again or the boys again or everyone gets one? We'll if it's also like Warriors, hopefully like the uh, the socialings get a uh, full dialogue, you know? Like fully voiced dialogue. Time for some more Nintendo Switch headlines.
in this next entry of this iconic series, the last I player can't. Oh shit! P Tetris, Tetris, 99 player battle royale Tetris. But Don't tell me. Oh god, battle royale. Here we go. This what is, is this? Don't tell me battle royale fucking Tetris. Tetris. Battle royale fucking Tetris. What the fuck is? What do you mean battle royale fucking Tetris? With an online experience like no other. Nintendo Switch online members can battle for dominance. I mean, I like Tetris. That's pretty cool. How do you get Battle Royale Tetris going? We already have Tetris Effect. I mean, eh. I mean, no. I'll buy it. But Battle Royale... Well, hopefully you can play not Battle Royale, but Battle Royale Tetris, huh? Battle Royale Tetris. Be ready to join the fight. Not a bad remix of the main thing. 99. All right. I got 99 bitches, and I ain't one. Oh, oh, oh. Battle Royale fucking Tetris. Shit, Dead by Daylight's coming to Switch. A family console. Imagine this. You're alone. In game footage. Fear, Looks like to survive. And then do, 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 do. another survivor. But it's too late. The killer is upon you. Now run. Now hide. Gotta be a little uh items. Open gotta a little be uh whatchamacallit. Escape with Just, your life. What about the online, right guys? Hmm. No so Nintendo. Your next victims. <laughs> Terrifying? Oh, yeah. How much can they show on this damn Nintendo Direct? Keep it PG, Nintendo! Jesus fucking Christ! Characters and cosmetics to earn. You'll experience a Where's my Dead by Daylight battle royale while, while we're at it? 99 people, one killer. That would actually be really fucking fun. Actually, yeah. Dead by Daylight creeps up on Nintendo Switch this fall. Alright. Fall? Okay. Just time for Halloween. Delta Rune is coming to Switch? What the fucking hell? Huh? But it's free? Or the full game, you mean? What? Huh? I mean, I assume they're gonna it's gonna be free. If they have to pay for it, that's dumb. Yeah, chapter one. Alright. Well, since Undertale's here, duh, okay. Yo, where's my penis at? Hang on. Alright. Shit guys. Uh, how much time? Can I show my penis off on stream? Put that thing away, there are children here. Shit, man. Alright. What the? This just a little weird, but oh, okay. There are dogs everywhere. What the fuck? These aren't actually there aren't actually that many dogs in the game. It's true. It's true. We play the full game. We sped run it. February twenty eighth for free. Thought so. All right, makes sense. More chapters in development will not be free. All right. Now for a message it's pretty cool that they get the Nintendo spot like that. Damon X Machina. Damon X Machina. Yeah, wasn't that that uh, that Battle Mech game? Hello, sir. And I have some news These Japanese native-born can speak today, English so perfect. Demo called Demon X Machina Prototype Mission on Nintendo eShop for a limited time. The game is still in development, but in the demo you can. I saw a chunk of Zari. I, I don't know what's going on. All I see is like battle mechs and everything. Customizations of your personal mech, known as an arsenal. I like the art style. I, I think it's pretty good. Like it's sort of cel shaded. It's it's stylized. The main thing. Like, with the Switch, I honestly think the main thing that they need to do with the graphics, because they obviously can't keep up to, uh, and make, like, a PS4 and, uh, Xbox One standards. Just go for more stylized, artsy stuff. Breath of the Wild showed you can be artsy and still look good, even if you're not, like, super realistic looking. We appreciate your feedback, and hope to make this game the best it can be. Kind of like Armored Core and stuff, so, okay. So please follow the official Nintendo of America Twitter account. If any guys have ever, uh, if you guys like Metal Gear Solid, check out Kojima's other franchise, uh, Zone of the Enders. It's kind of like this. Metal Gear with, like, just giant robots. Wait. Metal Gear with robotic me I don't know. Okay, what's next? Realistic racing. What did I just say about realism? Grid Autosport comes fully Grid Autosport, okay. high-speed thrills. Where's my F-Zero, Nintendo? Level that scales to your skills. You'll feel like a pro racer as you master Ooh, that aliasing. That's uh, that's something. Alright, I mean, graphics aside, from the graphics or whatever in a game, but like, uh, yeah, like, okay. City streets of Barcelona. Where's All Ridge Racer? Cars, Fire Emblem is trending in US. The weebs are coming. The weebs have taken over. Just like how Fire Emblem taken over Smash. Online or locally, and two players can race split screen on a single system. From street racing to demolition. The Weeaboo race. Full fucking exos 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 Exodus is all. Okay, what's next? Hellblade. Okay, this game. I 
for the very it first It came time. out a couple months ago. I didn't really Created get a chance to check it out, really, but it did seem interesting. Psychosis. It was at a... Uh, wait, was it last year or was it the year after? I don't remember. I just remember, like, I know of its existence, and it seemed cool. It, it won, like, a narrative award, I think, for, like, a, at the Game Awards. Including BAFTAs for performance. Audio and artistic achievement. Doesn't look that bad, also, too, for Switch, so. Game Beyond Entertainment. Find out why when Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice releases on Nintendo. I like that Nintendo, again, is given. Uh, whatchamacallit? Is showing off. Oh, last one, uh oh. Don't tell me that's it. Oh, yeah, MK11! Yeah, that's coming. I already said so. But online, though, or how's it gonna look? We'll have to see. It's pretty cool. Back to watching some gore porn. Oh, boy. In a fresh new adventure, Unravel 2 sees I like that they're given like a uh, focus to the mature games too, you know? Because that was the main thing with Nintendo before, just like it was only kid games, but you know, no, we got everything. Puzzling, platforming, fun when Unravel 2 comes to Nintendo Switch. Fancy. For the first time on Nintendo Assassin's Creed 3. Assassin's Creed 3 remastered. Damn, son. Well, this one was on Wii U, so they're basically just porting the Wii U one over. Okay. Wasn't 4 also on there too? Yeah, it was. Explore one of the most iconic eras Bring over the the damn Ezio trilogy, yo. Yeah. I'll admit, this is the actually the only Assassin's Creed game I haven't played. Well, Liberation as well, actually. Yeah, of course they bring it over, too. I completely skipped over the America games for some reason. Final Fantasy VII, we already knew. Remake when? You're funny, Nomura. You love Unravel? Oh, I don't even know about that game. But it's the game they showed up before, yeah. We can also announce that Chocobo yeah, the Mystery Chocobo Dungeon game. I think they already announced this one. On March, 20th. March 20th. They're just games coming over and over and over and over again. Just everything. They're skipping eight because fuck eight. Yeah, exactly, actually. No one likes eight. Only for Triple Triad. That's all? Okay. How's everything looking? Well, we have a bit more to share in this Nintendo Direct. You lying fuckers. What the? Until the end. All right, what else do you got? Uh, let's take a look. This is the end. Nah, just kidding. It's a lie. All right, dude. What do you got? Yeah, yeah, we get it. All right, what's up? What's this? Huh? What is this? Hmm? Police brutality coming up. It's an alien. All right. Yo, she's a she's in a police uniform, but she has to wear short shorts like that. All right, yeah, that makes sense. Sounds like Claire Redfield. Beyblade, let her rip! Are you kidding me? What is this? Fancy? Is this a game we already know about, or is this like a new game coming? Ooh, big ass Japan America looking city. Fancy, fancy. The craziest thing would be like Cyberpunk 2077 coming here. Everyone's hair is so colorful again. Was that oh, come on. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Just everything's just zoom, 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 zoom. zoom. Interesting. I think half of the games in this lineup were Weeaboo, so whatever. Is that a Grim from Ruby? Today has been most revelatory. Finally, we're ready for the final Masakasu Sutsu. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about this game. I guess it's a new franchise. Hideki, come here! Oh, yeah! Yeah, he's making a new game, right? This must be it. Okay, well, duh, obviously. All right, cool. Nice. And Nier Automata. Oh, shit. All right. Astral Chain for Nintendo Switch. Okay. So, all right. August is coming. So, from Platinum Games, the, like, just Bayonetta combined with Nier, combined with, like, all right. All right, cool. Shouts to Kamiya. It looked like two characters were fighting together during battle, didn't it? I hope you're excited to learn more about how combat will play out in this game. While they're at it, uh, Bayonetta 3, anyone? Anyone? Hello? And speaking of Platinum Games, I'm sure you're very <laughs> curious about Bayonetta 3. <laughs> yeah, prophetic. Yeah, I'm psychic again. Alright, let's go. 
Come on. It's taking us like 14 days and 14 nights just to sculpt Bayonetta's ass alone so we can't show you anything. We have to scrap it. It's not big enough. What do we got? Come on. Show us something. What else? What's new? Huh? Water. Dance, water, dance. What is this? More anime? Okay, eh, that's fine. Honestly, I don't understand why some people are like so, like anime gets some people so like irate, right? He's just anime. Why well, you have to be mad? Link. Oh shit, which Zelda game is this? Oh, they're remaking Link's Awakening? They're remaking Link's Awakening or some shit? Yeah, they're coming out with another 2D Zelda or something? Let's see. Let's see where this goes. Ooh. Where's Zelda? This is the only Zelda game where she's not in, right? Yeah, this is Link's Awakening, isn't it? Do, do, do. Yeah. Yeah, it's Link's fucking Awakening! Alright! Alright! Like, remade in like a... Uh, yeah, like a fucking 3D World! Not 3D World, what's it called? Link Between Worlds looking ass. Alright. He's even more Toon and Chibi than Toon Link. Damn. Well, fuck, yeah, we're fucking playing this. I'm fucking playing this. 2D Zelda is amazing. There's Marin, shouts to Marin. More owl fuckers, what a fucking hoot. Go what the f Oh yeah, no, there were Goombas in the I forgot about that, yeah, that's right. There are Goombas in this for some reason. Sweet, alright. Yeah, I never really played the original too much, but shit. 2D Zelda, like three, like Link Between Worlds. This is fucking, this is gonna be fucking fun. Let's go. Let's fucking go. So, While we're here, can we also uh, transfer over uh, Tingle's Rupee Land, anyone? Tingle's Rupee Land Switch, guys, let's go. Also, CDI Zelda. We'll find new life on Nintendo Switch. Fuck yeah, dude. I would've, like... I'd like a new game, too, obviously, but, like, yeah, remake's a good start. Please look forward to its release. Fuck yeah. That's all? Uh, alright. Alright. Bow. Then it's like, Kokichi's wiener shows up. It's a lie again, but no. Is that, that it? That it? That it? Yeah, okay, that's it. Ah, all right. Hey, Dwayne. Uh, you came in a little late. The direct just ended. All right. Every time we try to get our hopes up. Okay, so no Animal Crossing, no Metroid Prime. We saw Joker. I gotta get my music going again. Hmm. Well... Didn't blow us all away. We always expect to get blown away by these fucking game, like these damn directs. We really shouldn't. We're just gonna set ourselves up for disappointment. It was, it showed us some cool stuff. Like, okay, all right. Yeah, no new Kiddick. Like they didn't remake Kiddick. Okay, they can't blow their load just at the beginning of the year. Obviously, there's gonna be later directs down the line. E3 is also a thing, and there's gonna be future years to the Switch. So obviously, yeah, just it comes to us in just, you know, in increments. We'll probably get our Kid Icarus remake and Animal Crossing and Pokemon and everything down the line, but for what we got so far, interesting. Okay, we saw a little bit of Joker. I still want to see the stage and like actual gameplay, but that'll be for later. Link, oh, Link's Awakening remake's pretty hype. Oh, what else was there? Shit, there's just multiple games going over and over. Just It's hard to actually remember. Just one thing goes to the next one. Luigi's Mansion 3 is also something I know that's for sure coming late. Like, just think about it just, guys. Like, even just all the games they showed off here, there's still a lot more on the horizon. Like, the ones that they showed, like, they announced at, like, the previous E3 slash Direct. So, just, you know, there's a lot of shit coming, y'all. So, just because they didn't show off something that you like here doesn't mean it's coming. Be optimistic. Unless you're playing the Wii U, obviously, but you're not. You're playing the Switch, and the Switch is amazing, so... Joker is for sure in April. Did they confirm April? I was too busy getting all hyped for Joker to really notice, but yeah, I was actually thinking April would make sense. If they're doing April 9th, like April 9th would make sense, or like April 4th. Whenever Persona 5 got released, slash the first day of uh, school in Shinjuku, pretty cute, right? Pretty kind of kind of fitting, but yeah, that's cool. Yeah, Fire Emblem was good. Astral Chain looks interesting, because it's like, it's like Bayonetta slash Nier. No Bayonetta, like they... Didn't show off anything yet for Bayonetta 3, but, like, obviously they're just saying it's in the works, because Bayonetta's sculpting that perfect ass will take two years of development in itself, obviously. We'll see. And yeah, some of you guys like some of the ports that are coming. Unravel, I have to check out. Hellblade, I never got a chance to check it out on PS4, because here's something for me, guys. I don't know if you guys feel the same way sometimes, where I don't like picking up games on PS4 
because of trophies and stuff because I'm a big I'm big on like getting trophies I'm big on 100%ing things but if I can't bring myself to 100% it I don't like having that sort of like blemish on my profile so if I can play it on Switch instead where I don't have to worry about that just play it on my own time then that's better also playing on Switch I find a lot easier to just yeah do because doing it like having to set up because I have a lot of fucking consoles and like unwire and rewire and like you know just like pull out and just do like a bunch of like just take things out and just set up the console if I want to play like a game on a console just it's annoying but switch just pick it up and play so yeah switch is good which is all we're making it's gonna be legit yeah rune factory 5 some of you guys like um the only like farming game quote-unquote I'm really that into I guess well life simulation or minecraft and animal crossing Harvest Moon is kind of okay for me. Stardew Valley I played a little bit about, and I know, like, yeah, it's... Stardew Valley is for sure, uh, what was it? Inspired by Harvest Moon and Rune Factory, so maybe I'll give that a go. But we'll see. There was a lot of anime games, so yeah, I hope you weebs are happy. <laughs> Whatever. Oh yeah, Tetris! Yeah, Tetris fucking Battle Royale! Pfft, yeah. I like Tetris in general. Tetris is always one of my favorite games. I still need to pick up Tetris Effect, but yeah, like... That should be interesting. You guys up for that, actually? Shit, like, yeah, you guys want to do that? Try out Tetris 99? I'll fucking... I'll, let me just say this. On Tetris, Tetris for me is like playing Ganondorf in Smash. So, yeah, yeah, that should be fun. You guys want to play me in Tetris, I guess. Competitive fucking Tetris, let's go. Fucking do it, y'all. Hey, Chaco. Yeah, we get an avatar instead of being tied down to a specific house. Okay, for that, so it's not like choosing between Team Mystic, Team Valor, and Team uh, Eggs, right? It was just, it's just like, you have the three different houses and like your avatar like just interacts with all of them? Is that how it went? Because, okay. Either way, we're picking that shit up, obviously. If I can... One of my things that I wish I could do is get a 3DS capture card because they're pretty sparse, just hard to come by nowadays. Because... It'd be cool to replay and re, uh, just, you know, just revisit Awakening slash, uh, what was it? Awakening and Fates in preparation. Or actually we could play fucking Fire Emblem Warriors, because I've never really seen anyone really play Fire Emblem Warriors. And it, that just, that one has, like, a lot of good, like, social link stuff. And that's what we all come for, right? Just, like, the characters, so. Alright. Poofed, no one can beat me in, and beat me in Tetris, you say. Clearly you've never fought my Ganorf in Smash. That's how try hard I get with things, so. Damn, it's, there are only three things I really go try hard with. Smash Brothers? Tetris and Uno, y'all. Let's play some competitive fucking Uno. You're choosing between the Cyan, Magenta, and Yellow Door. Which one ends up with Luna and Fi naked? Something like that. Shit, okay. Yeah, like, we're almost ready to uh, wrap up for today. And, yeah, like, we'll see just more Nintendo stuff later on, guys. But, yeah, like, uh, just last thing. What are some things you guys want to see later on that they didn't announce here? Because what they announced here... Pretty alright. Again, I, if I had to rate this conference, I'd probably rate it like a... I'm decently generous. I'd give it a 6 out of 10. I don't want to dock, like, because I don't want to dock points for not having things that, you know, I didn't expect. Or, like, I was expecting. Because that's just, you know, setting yourself up for, you know, disappointment. It was just... Eh, what they revealed was alright. i just give it a 6 out of 10. I didn't get, like, too crazy hyped. They could have shown more for Joker. I know that they, like, they're still just, like, like, they could at least show, like, the, the stage and, like, you know, what they have for the music or something, but, like, eh, it's whatever. Splatoon update, if they're still doing, they, they always do stuff for Splatoon, so yeah, that'd be cool. If they just, because they have it sometimes on directs, if they had more for Splatoon, obviously, yeah, like, they would here. Maybe next time. Um, alright, well, let's hope for the next direct, which is either gonna be, like, March or April, right? Or later on, just E3, and E3's where all the big reveals, so... That's where all the big reveals are, so hopefully they get something good there. The Danganronpa thing is fake? I was thinking it was, yeah, because Danganronpa's never really been on Nintendo at all. Like, Trilogy would, of course, like be like the first, you know, time it would be on it. But I was thinking, yeah, just someone made a typo, because those typos do happen, and then just misinformation spreads like wildfire and or and the secret rings. I'll just wait for my contacts at GameStop, uh, you know, aka just like the GSO back, uh, back hub to tell me, just like, I'll give me all the morning skinny on just like the, the deets for, for stuff. Kid Icarus Uprising port, I know a lot of people would want, yeah, that'd be good. 
Masahiro's, uh, Smash Potato Samurai said he would never want to make a sequel. That doesn't mean no one else can make one. But a port would be good, and it would be great to have a fucking thumbstick so, my, you know, my hands don't get fucking carpal tunnel while you play it, you know? Yeah, something like that. Also, for the online, then it would be, then be uh, back up to par, or just, like, back online. But no one switch. Huh, <laughs> alright. What would be good would be uh, like a Spirit Track or Phantom Hourglass remake, but, you know, actually being able to use the damn D-pad. It's like, you have it right there, Nintendo, why can't I use that to move around? Oh, well. Something. The, new, the idea is new and fresh. Yeah, the new Fire Emblem looks, it has like the Warriors graphic design, and just overall, it's seeming to be a lot more, it's like, funny, because Fire Emblem is pretty, like, we had a lot of anime stuff, and yeah, it's very much in that camp. Though, it's funny because, yeah, this one's seeming to be like a lot more like mature slash like kind of like westernized. It's had like a very big Game of Thrones feel from like what ha from what I said uh, earlier on. And yeah, I like Game of Thrones. I'm definitely going to try and like pick this one up because I am older. I'm uh, like, I definitely like want to see where this one goes. Because I like Fire Emblem in general. Just like, I'm curious to see how things play out. Hopefully the story this time around is actually going to be like pretty, you know, just overall pretty engaging and not full of plot holes like... You know, Fates was a little bit. And yeah, like, since they're not splitting it up between two versions again, hopefully, yeah, it's more cohesive and stuff. Gameplay looked pretty good too, and just everything. Spike Chunsoft works for Nintendo? No, uh, Spike Chunsoft doesn't work, doesn't work for Nintendo. Like, they might be associated, as in, like, maybe, like, second party, kind of like how, like, level 5 is, right? Like, I don't think they're associated with Nintendo, otherwise you would see more of their games on Nintendo. Specifically, obviously, like, Danganronpa and Zero Escape, but, well, actually, Zero Escape is on Nintendo, never mind. I just want my Danganronpa ports and my Zero Escape and my damn Ace Attorneys, actually. You have three tr You got a Danganronpa, Zero Escape, and Ace Attorney trilogy, and they don't come to the Switch? What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? Alright, well, alright. Yeah, okay, so, I guess we're wrapping up for tonight, guys. Thanks for joining me on the Nintendo Direct. We didn't get as hype as we wanted to. Oh yeah, the Delta Room was pretty crazy. But uh, yeah, just, we'll see. Just Switch is good. This is looking to be a good year again for Switch. Just, we've come a long way since the damn Wii U, y'all. But yeah, no, just, it's great. Video, I love fucking love, oh my god, I fucking love video games so much. Yeah, you guys enthused with me? Yeah, anyway, yeah, looks good. Can't wait to see more Joker. Hopefully we get more down the line. Peace out, y'all. Good night and good luck. This is Kevin Goes, y'all know. Signing out. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Join the Discord. Video is unavailable. Oh, no. Uh, rip, Nintendo. Join the Discord. Follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, everything. Hit the bell for notifications. And, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. With just what the whims of fate take us. Hopefully the whims of fate. But, yeah. Peace out, y'all.